Abdullah. I'm from Gaibantha. I'm a student of Mentor English Language Institute and I have been with Mentor Club for a couple of years. Today I'm going to share with you how we will enjoy your Eid Festival with English language. And today I'm going to share with you five tips how you can practice at home alone when you are not finding a partner to practice, with or to practice your language with this person. So where you can practice alone. The first tips is that okay, think in English you have to think all all, 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 all the matters in English, what you are uh, observing in your eyesight, you think in English. Secondly, second tips is that you have to practice with yourself. When you want to find a partner to practice your English language, then practice with yourself. Yourself is the best uh, uh, partner for practicing English. Third tips is that uh, in, stand in front of the mirror. Is, is stand in front of the mirror, this is the best tips. This is the best tricks to practice your language when you are at home. When you stand in front of the mirror and select a topic, try to talk on that matter. Sometimes we feel difficulty of vocabulary. Sometimes we don't find exact vocabulary. So then don't stop talking. Don't stop your practicing. Then you uh, try to uh, tell it in a different way. Uh, I think it will help you to practice your language. Fourth tip is that try to avoid grammatical accuracy you know sometimes we feel grammatical uh, the problem grammatical problem we think maybe uh, someone uh, maybe if someone uh, around us are finding uh, our problem uh, our problem our mistake they are try they're trying to point out our mistake we have to always avoid the critic person because critic person never make you optimistic they always always make you pessimistic so always try to grammatical uh, you know accuracy or always uh, try to avoid grammatical accuracy According to British Council, you're, uh, you're uh, uh, not too much worrying about your mistake because primarily your mistake can be encouraged. Okay, fifth top uh, tips is that try to memorize some tongue twister. Tongue twister is a series of words that difficult to uh, pronounce quickly and it will help you to, uh, you know, for your mouth, placement for your mouth, uh, your tongue and your foreign pronunciation native pronunciation you must memorize some tongue twister like feather found for flying place on the floor teachers told me to teach the typical topics if you memorize this type of uh, you know what tongue twister it will help you to get the correct pronunciation and i hope that if you follow this methods it will help you to keep your fluency cool and natural at your home thank you very much for watching this video